<laughs> Hello, here we are again. Welcome back to J Tombstone's Photo Drawer, the show where you don't even see, need to see my face. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Shirt from Keith. Keith, um, give me the oh, wrong drawer. Here we go. Let's get started. First up, a picture of Gray Gibson wearing a do rag in my old uh, Ursuline Street apartment. That's from Nola, which is the the thickest of the envelopes at this point. Nola. I'm gonna have to go back after we get done with the drawer. I need another Nola folder, folder soon. Um, after I get done with the drawer, maybe I might need to go re-evaluate um, the um, the Nola. Re-separate that. Uh, this is a it's an old flyer. It's a flyer to my very first art show when I was in Mobile um, at Haley's. Information on the back. Is there a date on it? Uh, December 4th. No year. But it would have been 90-something. My first art show. When I sold my first art, um, I sold those uh, framed frame shots of Christian and Chris. It's weird how I do this sometimes. I wrote the exact same picture. Exact same. You know, Gray, Gray Gibson, I love you. I consider sending a, you a picture of yourself, but you don't care. And uh, I don't need two pictures of the same, bat, exact same kind of crappy photograph of you. Okay, here's a picture. Oh my goodness. That's uh, Michael Luella, Lala Moore on my bed, and Venus in my old bedroom at Ursuline Street. There's no way in the world I can throw away a picture of Lana Moore. God uh, bless Lana Moore, I miss you. Um, that goes with Nola. A black and white picture of a cat. I don't know whose cat that is, but um, it's going to the trash. That's, that's happened a few times, bringing up pictures of cats. I guess I was just like telling myself I need a cat. <coughs> uh, this is a picture of Julie Mason. Me as the Clown and Marcy. I'm grabbing Marcy's crotch and Marcy's got her shirt up showing her tits in a bar. Uh, this was soon after I moved to New Orleans and uh, all my mobile friends came to visit me. Uh, go ahead and know it. <laughs> um, a picture of Lady Carolyn and Greg Cox in Greg Cox's old apartment in uh, Mobile. That goes in the Mobile. What did I do with the Mobile there? Mobile. Mobile envelope. Ring, ring. Um, that's a picture of Bo, Steve Brownfield, Saucy's husband. What's the sound of that? Bo doing his if I don't get my way number. <coughs> okay, so this is, then this means this is a picture that Steve sent to me after he moved to Kentucky. What to do with that? Ugh. I don't have something like, ugh. I don't have an envelope for like pictures that have nothing to do with me that other people sent me. I'm going to put that one on this table right here and table it, literally table that. Uh, I love this picture. This is Jim Faust, the second great love of my life. And uh, of course he was, uh, you know, all into community theater and mobile. And this is just a picture of him sitting on a blank stage looking all hot and nerdy. That's Jim. Uh, that goes in Mobile. Although I've now separated, I had a picture like all my little great loves together, and um, you know all my boyfriends, and um, now they're all separated. I had them all together on one page in a photo album at one point. Um, that's Marcy. That's a picture of Marcy and her her you know Rocky Horror lingerie outfit um, in my mother's old bedroom. Uh, my mother had teddy bears all over her bed, and the the um, the windows were covered with aluminum foil, but the aluminum foil had kind of peeled, giving that, that kind of weird look. Uh, where's my photo career? Where is my photo career? Um, that guy Chris, not a great picture. Photo career, no trash. I don't need, I have so many pictures of that, that guy. Um, this is a really bad picture of Greg Cox. I think that's my old Ursuline Street um, apartment, I think. 
Uh, uh, it's such a bad picture, it's going to trash. Really. Really, really, really. Throwing stuff away. Images from um, that roll of film that Christian took uh, when she went to uh, Vancouver, I think, got her, her operation, sex change operation in. Trash. Sorry, Christian. I don't know how I ended up with all those. Um, an old an old image of a old street performer named Ursula Burgundy. I'm guessing Ursula Burgundy died. I, I don't know whatever happened to her. But a little mime that used to do standing still street performances. That's going in NOLA. Yeah, that NOLA folder. Maybe, maybe it is second NOLA folder. Um, the, the same, same roll of film image, like, right after or before, or Slime Burgundy in the square. I guess I took that? I don't know why I would have taken pictures of Ursula Burgundy, but... That guy, Chris, photo career or trash? Trash. Unless it's just a really good picture of him on that day, there's going in trash, really. Um, this is from the night of the Leather Circus Halloween costume thing, but there's pictures of other people at the party. And I don't care. I don't know why I took, like, you know, you're out, you take pictures. You know, we're having fun. This is that guy, Chris, from the, from the series I called 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just, um, progressive pictures of him taking off his pants. Photo career. There he is, Chris. Not looking hot. It's weird, yeah, because he was, he was, he's a handsome guy, he was, I mean, he was then, I don't know what he looks like now, but he never, all of his pictures, it's like, he kind of wanted to look sexy, but it's not. Um, here's a picture of Venus, it's really weird, it's obviously a performance, but there's, looks like it's taken from a back room or something, see how there's like all that foreground stuff, and, um, it's not a good picture of Venus, you can barely tell that this is even Venus, so I'm throwing that in the trash. A picture of Venus Chante de Vis, in the trash, believe that. Bourbon Pub and Parade. Welcome you to Southern Decades. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's taken from the image, the, the uh, weekend when I came with that guy, William. And uh, this is from the same role. That's a friend of William's. Uh, whoever came with him. I don't care. I don't care. Trash. Trash, trash, trash. Trash, 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 trash. Ah, oh, this is a great picture. This is from the first night I saw the Impotent Sea Snakes. And you see... Right down the bottom, there is the lead singer. His name was 13. And the main center stage is the guy who walked on stilts. And uh, the, the impotent sea snakes always kind of um, branded themselves in their marketing and stuff as the uh, stilt-walking, fire-breathing, superstar rock sluts. So in that image, you have the stilt walker, who was like their little backup guy. He always came and walked on stilts. And down um, at his kind of knees is uh, 13, the lead singer. A uh, great image. I love it. It's a little underexposed, but it was at a, at a very dark concert. And that's like the end, obviously, of the show. Because he's like kind of taking his bow. Like, yay, the still water. Uh, that goes in NOLA. Although it feels like it deserves something a little more, um, you know, a little more prestigious. But it's going there for now. And also from the Impotency Snakes first night. And this was the bass player and you can't tell but he's got a hole in his pants and his dick is out at some point he ran around the front of the audience and people that are like right on stage sucked his dick during the show it's not a great image but i can't throw that one away because you can actually see the, the bass player's dick and um you know it's an integral part of the the um the storytelling of the of the first impotent sea snake show this is also the first impotent sea snake show this is a girl, one of their little backup fetish performers, who's um, kind of on a chain that's hanging from the ceiling, and she's got a little mistress there with, um, she's got little safety, what's that, uh, clothespins on her nipples, and she's flogging her or something, it, like two chicks doing some little fetish thing from the first Impotent Sea Snake show. That first Impotent Sea Snake show, I think it's going to need its own little album when I get around to putting these in albums. If I ever get around to putting these in albums, let's be serious. It's taking me this long just to get around to separating them. And I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm barely making progress. This is a picture of Lady Carolyn. I remember for some reason we went to Gulf Shores, and that's just some random guy that we were talking to in a bar in Gulf Shores. Um, that's going to go in my mail. Me, me, me. Onward and upward. 
That guy, Chris, not looking sexy. Trying to look sexy, not. Um, and he's got a sticker up. It's some sort of bumper sticker on his chest for this one. I don't even remember what the bumper sticker says. And um, you can't really tell. It's a little too overexposed. Here he is again. So many pictures of that guy. So I don't know how many rolls of film I took that day of him. But a lot, apparently. And I don't need them. No, sir, I don't need it. Okay, this is um, the guy. I keep talking about that guy that I went to, that I dated for a while, named William, who lived in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, one weekend, he came to Mobile. We together went to New Orleans with this girl I worked with named Shannon. That's the girl named Shannon. And I think that's a husband with her. Um, I don't know where Shannon is these days. I don't remember her last name. There's no way to look it up. I uh, said so that just goes in Mobile. <laughs> Um, obviously a picture of Mardi Gras morning. I don't, I, is that Cayenne? I'm not sure who that is, but I know where it is. That's, uh, Marco's backyard. I'm in Marcus's backyard and it's clearly Mardi Gras morning. Um, but that's all I got. So that's just going to show in one. And I think it kind of looks like Cayenne. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, um, this is, I'm, I'm pretty sure from the decadence trip. Somebody in a, whatever, whatever. Somebody hanging out a window in the front corner. I don't care. Hmm. <laughs> I assume this has got to be in my mom's yard. This is a, it's a picture of a Barbie on a plastic plate flamingo. I'm pretty sure that's my mom's front yard. There's a whole, a whole long story about uh, me and my mother and pink flamingos in the yard. Um, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, Paul Francis, PJ, at the um, in a wheelchair at my uh, last birthday party in Mobile. Mobile. I'm, I, yeah, I'm on Facebook friends with PJ again now, so I could send him that. Um, my, my, my. Impotent Sea Snakes. First Impotent Sea Snake show. You see the stilt walker. You see some chicks in, um, you know, like stripper looking chicks, half dressed. Not a very clear image, but nonetheless, it's going in NOLA. <laughs> also, impotency stakes. But I might throw this one away, because it's so, it's so unclear. It's like, it's very underexposed. You see the ceiling more than anything. There's something going on on stage, but it's hard to tell exactly what. Um, there's a chick with no shirt on, and um, that's all you can tell, really. So, I think I'm going to take this image from the first uh, show of the Impotent Sea Snakes I saw and throw that in the trash. Let's reach to the back. Let's see if we can get something variety. I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm, it's all getting very redundant. There's Marcy and um, her little Rocky Horror negligee next to an old Coca-Cola wall, whatever, uh, photo career. Photo career. Um, the picture of me, Venus, and Christian, but all you see is, is Venus in this one, and that's the night we did the Mr. Macho Man, uh, number, and it's not great, so I'm going to throw it away. It's not a good picture of Venus. I know Christian and I were there, but you can't see us. Um, this is, uh, more pictures from that decadence trip, and, uh, it's just a picture of somebody in a window in the front quarter. Don't care. Trash. Um, it's me and Mia. <coughs> Excuse me. Me and Mia. Um, on the, the Mississippi River for some reason. I think that was right before Mia left New Orleans. And, um, we just went and took some pictures together. Let's see, what's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, oh, mama. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I knew these were coming. And, um, I can't show these. <laughs> I worked in photo labs for years, and I'll tell this story every time one of these comes up. There's only like three of these. Um, and there was, um, while I was working in this photo lab, these pictures came through. And these pictures were pictures that a couple took, a little man and woman took together, married, whatever, I don't know the people. Um, but they took, like the guy took pictures of the girl, the girl took some pictures of the guy, and, um, they had them processed in a photo lab, old photo lab days. And um, the photo lab that they had these pictures taken, 
and process through, that photo lab made copies and somehow it got around that they had made copies. So this couple sued that photo lab. I got these images when the lawyer for that lawsuit had them reprinted and um, the company I was working for, I won't even say who because I work for a few photo labs, I'm not going to even put a time frame on this, but um, that the photo lab I was working for got the pictures through the lawyer for the lawsuit. They had to make copies, I guess, uh, for what, yeah, yeah, I don't know why they had, but nonetheless. Um, so I have these images <laughs> and I think there's three um, or four, there's three or four. There's uh, two of the guy and I, there's two, I know there's one of the, the woman, there might be two of the woman, nonetheless. The most shocking image, there's two of the guy and this hot black guy, like muscly build, big dick, and um, the image I'm looking at right now is him peeing in a toilet. She obviously took the picture of him pissing. Um, there's another picture of him just naked with a big dick. The picture, there's no doubt, the picture that caught everybody's attention is the picture of the woman, and she's a, a kind of an overweight woman, and she's fingering herself, and it's taken from like down, looking up at her, you know, so you're like right at her vagina with her finger in it. Um, I don't have that one in my hand right now. Right now I have the picture of, of that guy pissing. And, um, yeah, I don't even want to show these because, uh, like I said, it, these pictures have already caused one lawsuit. I don't want to be a part of another lawsuit. So, I will tell you the, the things, unfortunately, I can't show those images. It's illegal. If you would like to come to my house and see these, I would show you in person. Where should these go? I'm going to put them in photo career because technically it was part of my photo processing days. It's the only reason I, I have those images. And um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I just can't show that on YouTube. Sorry, I can't show it. I can't risk it. Um, amazing story. The, the photos are jaw dropping. I mean, the photo of her is jaw dropping. The pictures of him is like, oh, hot, hot guy, big dick, whatever. The photo of her is like, what? <laughs> And I haven't come across that yet, but it's in here. I, I, I've known those were coming, and I knew I'd have to stop a minute, just tell the story, and uh, I can't actually show them because, I, yeah, yeah, I just can't risk it. Um, this is from Christian's roll of film going to um, Canada. Trash. Reach to the back. Let's get something new. I do get not, nothing new. This is from the, the trip with me and William to Decadence, New Orleans. Whatever. Some people standing at a bar. Don't know them. Don't care. Going in the trash. Towards the back. Um, this is actually a page out of a photo album. This should just go back in a photo album. Yeah, see? I've taken some pictures out of this page. Um, the images here are, there's two pictures of me at a skating ring. And a picture of my old dog Sandy. That's your Sandy. Sandy. My old dog Sandy. They're Sandy. Looks like Petey. Um, this whole page should just go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to table that because I have, in addition to this drawer, I just want to say, not only do I have this drawer, I also have a row of photo albums over there with pictures that have actually been put in the photo albums. Um, yeah, these aren't all the pictures I have. These are just all the pictures I have that have not been put in photo albums yet. Oh, this is a good picture of me. I love it. Yeah, this is going to frameable. Uh, this is an old picture of me um, when I was working at Second Skin, the little leather store. And this is me in some fetish wear. I've got a little mask on with a zipper. Wearing my rubber shirt. Looking all creepy sexy. That's going to frameable. Frameable. Yeah, I'm the kind of hot in that. Hot, sexy, creepy. Picture of me. Now if I can got Chris. It never ends. It never ends! He keeps coming. He keeps going in the trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll say it again. I got Chris. Go on trash. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this drawer when it's finally empty. Um, from the leather, the leather clown night. This was just Aubrey and maybe her girlfriend, some girl. Aubrey, who was the bearded lady at the in the leather, the leather circus night. Run and Noah. I'm trying to reach to the back and get a variety of stuff here. Uh, we've gone into the pictures of me in drag, Grace Garland. There's so many pictures and images because I made so many copies to see. That felt like maybe a stack. Nope, that wasn't a stack. <clears throat> oh, 
This image, okay, okay. I'm on this arm, I have a tattoo. I first got a tattoo on that arm when I was like 13 and we were giving each other's tattoos, me and like the little 13 year old friend, Cheryl Watley, um, and we gave each other tattoos. And um, mine said J, but it looked awful. It looked like it said Joy. Um, at some point soon after, my mother took me to a tattoo shop and had it kind of done over so it looked a little clearer, but it still kind of looked like it said Joy. Years after that, um, my friend Jamie had a boyfriend who was learning to tattoo. And um, he was going to, over, over this, over the J, which had been one tattoo, covered over, he was going to put a happy face on it. Um, and it was supposed to be like a happy face with a bullet, bullet hole in the head. It did not come out well. And this is the picture I took the day before I had, this is obviously, let me just lean around here and see my actual arm. This is my tattoo now. And this is a picture of, because it was like this for years. It had this little, it just looks like a big black bob. You can't even tell that it was a happy face. It was supposed to be a happy face. And this image was on my arm for years. I don't know exactly how many years, I don't remember, but for years, and I just, I just wore sleeves. I'd never showed that part of my arm um, because I hated it so much. I was like, oh my God, what have I done? And it wasn't until Misha came in and uh, fixed it in, I think it was 2001 or something when I finally got that covered up. So this is the picture I took the day I went to have that covered up. That was the only reason I took a picture of it. Just for like historical reference, this is how bad it looked. That's going in the arm. <clears throat> Um, my friend Bradley, who I knew when I first moved to New Orleans, and, um, he moved to somewhere, Seattle, somewhere way over there, NOLA, um, negatives, I'm not, like, I'm not going through negatives at all, I'm just putting them in the photo career, putting them in photo career, how much time we got here? About 22 minutes, so, we got a little bit more to go, um, I'm pretty sure that's images from the decadence that I visited with that guy from William. Um, pictures of some guys on a balcony. Who took all those pictures? Uh, it's Christian and Marcy in Christian's old bedroom in Church Street in Mobile. Uh, it's a very cute picture of Christian and Marcy. Marcy's dead now. Christian might appreciate that. But for now, it's going in Mobile. That guy William, that guy William from um, Sarasota. Uh, this is a cute picture of him, so I'm gonna keep this one. Cause it's, uh, that's not taken during the trip. That's taking like, I think he sent me that picture uh, just to have a little picture like, oh, he's so cute. And he is very cute. He's hot, he's very tall. I can't remember his real name, so his last name, so I can't even really look him up. Let's dig deep, see something different. Oh, Grace Divine, you've seen it. Maybe there's a stack. Oh, there's a stack. A stack of, I'm telling you, I made so many copies of this picture. I, I took them around. I, I left them in bars. I put them in people's mailboxes. Ah, this is a picture of Salamander. I, we've, I've thrown a few of these away. This is a picture of Salamander taking my old church, uh, I mean, uh, um, Ursuline Street apartment. That's a pretty good one. He's looking a little hot there, so I'm definitely keeping that one. I should have a, just a a folder for pictures that I think give me a boner. Um, speaking of boner, old Death Heart Scott, looking hot, looking hot and nerdy, but um, he's crazy, he's crazy. There's Death Heart Scott, the one and only Death Heart Scott. If I ever see Glitter the Clown again, I'm killing, and I'll kill you too. Actual quote from Death Heart Scott. Uh, Venus dropping it like it's hot during the number. <laughs> Look at her going down. Um, that looks like Mobile, so I'm going to Mobile. Let's do three more, three more pictures. Randomly, I'll eat from separate corners. This corner, we get Lady Carolyn and some guy, not even pose, something, it's the patio at Troopers in Mobile. So that goes in Mobile. This corner. Mm. <sighs> ah! ah! This picture is um, just a banner of Taboo when I went to see Boy George in New York on Broadway. He was doing the, the play called Taboo. And this is a picture in New York 
Obviously, then took up a big banner of promoting taboo. Um, memorabilia. That should go memorabilia because it's really nothing other than memorabilia. And this corner gives us um, another picture of me roller skating. Remember that page I took out a little while ago? The pictures of me roller skating. There's another one, and it's going to go in that that uh, from there. I did three corners. Let's do one more corner. Last corner. Um, some drag queen in the streets during decadence. Don't care. Don't know. Don't care. Okay, but, um, we've made a little bit of progress again. And look at the top. Oh, here's a whole stack. I'm going to take this whole stack. Oh, there's another one. A whole stack. <laughs> and shut it because I've told you I made so many copies of this picture. So many copies of this picture. I can't even tell you. And this is what I've got left. 20 years later. I've been dropping these in mailboxes, leaving them on buses, leave them in a laundromat, put one in a restaurant when you go out to eat. So many copies. See you on the next edition of Take Team Sales.